Hello everyone. Today we'll explore the newest features of Building Insights in Visual Studio, a tool designed to analyze and optimize your C++ builds. We'll mainly focus on templates view and functions view. The first step to optimize our project is to gather profiling data. Build Insights automatically captures details about files and functions, but for templates, we need to enable this feature manually. To do so, we need to check template instantiation collection under build insights in the options window. With template collection enabled, we're ready to dive into profiling our program. And here's how. Go to the build menu, select run build insights on solution, and let's do a full rebuild. This initiates the data collection process for our project. Following data collection, a report detailing our build is presented in a newly open window. Functions view is a new capability we added in Visual Studio 17.8. In the Functions tab, we find insights into code generation times for functions, force inline overhead, and the files where code generation occurred. Highlighting force inline information is vital because excessive use of force inline functions can significantly slow down compilation in projects. Take this example. This function called perform physics calculations is responsible for 34% of overall build times, that is six seconds. While analyze vector from vector 2D contributes 5%. Now let's go and expand perform physics calculations. Upon expansion of perform physics calculations, we see that many functions contribute to its size. The force inline size is particularly critical because it offers insights into code generation time overhead. Now navigate to, to the function, reveals that multiple calls of analyzed vector, which was also, a high, was also highlighted in the report. If we go to the definition of analyzed vector, we can see this function is force inline and also has a lot of inline functions itself. This seems unnecessary. Let's eliminate this force inline here. Now, let's explore further optimization opportunities in the templates view. This is a new feature we added in Visual Studio 17.10. In templates view, we have served the time compilation time cost um, of each template along specializations and instantiations. This detailed analysis helps us identify optimization targets. For instance, this template is taking 37% of our build time. So let's navigate to the file containing this template. It seems that this code is explicitly instantiating for double, float, and int. Let's check references to this template. Upon inspection, it seems that these lines are not needed since most of the files are using just one type, either double or float or int. Let's comment this out. After applying changes to both templates and functions, we need to rebuild and reprofile to confirm we have made improvements. Now with the new report, we can compare um, with the previous one. Let's open functions on both reports. We can see that it has gone down from six seconds for the function that was taking the most time to one second. In templates, we can also see that there's a considerable improvement. Finally, we can see that our full build time has gone down from 18 seconds to just seven seconds. That's awesome. We encourage you to take advantage of these new features.
functions view became available in 17.8 and templates view became available in 17.10. We hope that these features are going to be very useful to you. We highly value your feedback. Please reach us out in the developer community website. Thank you.